Hey guys, it's Karen Mare. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to make a YouTube custom thumbnail in 2019. We're almost through 2019, but there's something that I want to share with you that really has improved everything on my channel in the last few weeks that I've implemented it. Because if you don't know, thumbnails are super important to get clicks, to get sales, get more subscribers to your channel. We're going to go over like what makes a good thumbnail and how you can do them yourself. But before we get to that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. And I do a lot of product reviews on this channel as well, just to let you make an informed buying decision. If those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. So the things that you want to look for that make a good thumbnail is number one, you want a close up image. And it's been proven that if, if the image is further away, that you're not going to get as good of click through rate. So you want to have a very close up image. I'm going to show you some examples here. Second thing is that the thumbnails need to be custom, not just the frames of the video that you have. If you want to actually make your own thumbnails or you have somebody make them for you, but I'm going to show you how to do them yourself and save yourself a whole lot of money. So you want an image to show emotion because that grabs people's attention. Consistency, have the same certain style. So it's maybe like the same color or different variations of that color. Some examples of some good thumbnails are Sunny right here. She has a very distinct style on her thumbnails, a lot of the same colors. And you can see how she has good expressions. It's very easy to read. That's one example. Clark is another example. His are pretty similar in color and style. Burko Banks. Let's we'll take a look at his thumbnails because they're really good as well. Well, that's loading up. Let's go on to the next one. It's going to be easy to read text because if you have too much <clears throat> excuse me, too much text on there, or it's not easy to read, people are not going to click on it because it's, I've seen people put like tons of writing. Now they, these here, I really like Burko Banks, but I would say some of these I would not click on because I wouldn't even be able to read them. Uh, for example, like this one here has a lot of writing on it. It's not really easy to read, especially if you're on a mobile phone. So you want it to be easy to read. And by having it easy to read, that means only like three to five words of interesting thought provoking text, not just repeating the title. And that's what I used to do was I would put the title on my thumbnails, but you want something to be interesting so that someone will click on it. So an example would be like this one here, five money mindsets keeping you poor. Rather than putting that whole title on there, he put this makes you poor. So you want to click on that because it's like it's like an open loop. You don't know what he's going to be talking about. Same thing here, 10 life changing habits. Rather than putting 10 life changing habits, he writes do these habits. Here, never work again. So he's got a lot of great thumbnails that are very thought provoking and they're short. They're only like three to five words. There's not too many, too many words on there to read and get you all confused about what it's about. And also make sure that you don't cover up your writing with a timestamp, meaning it's better to have the image on the right hand side because you see where the, the timestamp here is. So if you have your words on the right hand side, it may cover up some of your words. So it's better to have your image on the right hand side. I used to make that mistake a lot. And also you can try different backgrounds, different colors, different fonts to determine the best click through rate. And I'm going to show you a tool here that you can split test, meaning you can run two uh, thumbnails at the same time, they'll they'll cycle through, I think it's like three days on one, three days on another, and then they'll pick the winning one. But I'll show you just in the last 
three weeks when I really realized I hired a coach and realized how important thumbnails are because I would just make a thumbnail that I thought looked good and put it up there, but there's a lot to uh, thumbnails and that's super, super important. But you can see even in the last three weeks that I've implemented this strategy, my impressions are up by 10%, my click-through rate is up by three, my views are up by 10%. And I'm just getting started and figuring out like what's the best thumbnail for my channel, what's the ones that's gonna convert or get the highest click-through rate. So we'll go through, in case you don't know how to find your click-through rate, and I'm gonna show you the one, so you can see in the last few weeks I'm, I'm using the same sort of color scheme here in the last since um since this one here these other ones are just kind of random and what i've learned too is you want to have thumbnails that when somebody sees your thumbnails they know that that's your video like sunny if you see her thumbnail you know that's her that's just like her signature they're not all the same but you want them to be similar in style and different color variations but this is the best one so far of course when you first put out a video it's going to have a higher click-through rate and as time goes on it'll go down but this one here seems to be the best one so far so if you click on your video and then just click on analytics then you can find out what the click-through rate is and what I've learned is you want to shoot for close to 7%. That would be really good. So this one here, if you click on reach, this one actually is my best one, 8.6%. And if we go back on my channel, I had someone on Fiverr do my thumbnails, which I was actually just trying to get the cheapest one. He did at least at that time was uh, three for five dollars and I feel like I can do them better than this particular person I had hired myself and that's what I'm going to show you a tool here in just a minute get back to okay let's just go back here to my channel and I'll show you the the thumbnails that that this person on Fiverr did for me. And I do think a lot of these people on Fiverr use this tool that I'm going to share with you. But if we go back here, I started doing these myself. It was these right here, best motivational videos. That type was, I had somebody doing those for me. And then I had a different person doing this one for me. The click-through rate isn't even as good as the one that I showed you that I did. So you just kind of have to play around. This one actually was good. Someone did that one for me. Let's see what that one is. But you have to play around with the, the font, the colors, and just to see what works the best. And keep track of your winning ones so you can, you can split test that and, and get it even better. So if we look at this one here, this is one that someone did for me. I think it was around five. Yeah, 5.3%. So playing around with your thumbnails is real easy and Thumbnail Blaster, that's the tool that I wanted to share with you. I did do a review on this a little while ago. I'll leave that in the description below the video, but you can save Save your templates. So like this one here, I can split test and have the uh, background be white or I can have it be yellow. I'm going to start with it being yellow and see what happens. But if we go into here and let me show you with you the uh, price. So it's only $37 one time and I was paying $5 per thumbnail. Well, actually with the taxes and everything, some of these better ones were $7. So that's over $200 a month. And you can do it yourself for $37 and go back in and change it however you want. You don't have to go through Fiverr and wait for them to change it. You can do this all yourself. So for $37, you can come into Thumbnail Blaster 
and you just go to thumbnail creator and this is just in the basic I did get the upgrade for just a little while which is was this uh, 17 a month but then I have enough thumbnails that I just went ahead and canceled that but you would definitely you know just the $37 would be plenty plenty of thumbnails for you to do so I'm going to share with you just how simple it is and I promise you this is not like difficult to do because technology and me just do not mix so we go in here um, we're going to start with no video and these tutorials are excellent I mean you, you just can't mess it up so the club one was the upgrade that I got but the predefined ones these green ones are the ones that you'll get with the with a basic 37 but I'm going to go with let's just go into here and I'll show you how to edit it but it's it's super simple so here obviously you want to put in your image and I have some stored in here but I wanted to show you you're going to remove the background to go to background no it's remove dot bg and then you'll upload your image to that it'll take out the background so let's see mm. here's one so you could just get your iPhone or you know camera and take some three to five, ten pictures of you with different expressions, and then all you would do after you do that is just download it, and then you go back to Thumbnail Blaster, upload your image with the background removed. Okay, so then I'm going to put that on the right hand side here and just make my image as big as I can. Bring it down. I realize in some of mine it looks weird just cut off here, so you have to like bring the whole bring the whole image down like that and just make it as large as you can. And then again, I'm going to make sure it doesn't look strange at the bottom. So if we wanted to do that, and then some of mine, obviously, if they're reviews, I'm going to write the review name on them. But you want something like, um, one of mine I put, this is one that's done well, Click, ClickBank Money. So I'm going to put that in here. And then just take this one out here you come over here and increase the size you're going to decrease the size but again there there's tutorials in here but you can just come in here and make a, a thumbnail really quick and if you don't like it you, you can come back and change it you're not getting a good click-through rate with it I'm going to take this off and I'm going to make this black here. So there's a place where you can change the color. Let's see. Sometimes it seems like the color is hidden. That might be because I didn't. Highlight it. You can change the font. There it is, color options. So I'm going to change that to black. Make it a little bit bigger so it's about the same size as the other words. Word. OK, 
Okay. Actually, I need to make that a little bit smaller so it doesn't run into my face there. And then you can change the background. Play around with the background. Just click on the background. You can do like, you know, just change it to maybe a yellow and then take out this image here. So it'd be uh, like a plain image or if you wanted to put some sort of image in the background, you could do that. You can go to Pixabay and search all of their images in there. And they also have some in the system already that you could put in the background. And then if you want to add some text to it, you can do that as well. I don't like that, of course. Um, let's go back and take that out of there. But I promise you, if I can do this editor, you guys can. It's not, it is not difficult. Make that yellow. And then I'm going to put, I had some image of money in here. So we can put, put money over here. that a little bit smaller but you, you get the idea and these are so much better than the ones that I was purchasing but also the ones that I was just making on my own and this make it's making a huge difference already so after you get done you're gonna save and continue save that as your our template so you can All right. go back and let's say you wanted to test out a blue background, they have split testing. Change out the color of the font, the different font, different color of the font, different background, different image. You can do whatever you want with split testing. It's super easy to do right in here. And then of course, you would just save it as a JPEG and then upload it to your YouTube video. So this is like I said, is making a huge difference. And if you can get your click-through rates up higher, that's gonna get you more Subscribers, it's going to get you more views, going to get you more sales. So, like I said, I hired a coach, and this person is doing really, really good with YouTube marketing. And this is the first thing that we're working on is thumbnails. So, let me just show you my channel here again. We're going to go through and determine what's the best color combination, the best style, and then I'm going to go with that thumbnail. We're just kind of in the testing phase right now, but you can see how, again, they've changed, and I think this is the best one so far, but I'm going to continue to use the same colors, similar, similar style, and um, I really hope that this helps you because it just really opened my eyes that that that's like the first place you need to start if you're not getting the kind of results that you want with your YouTube channel make sure you look at your thumbnails and if you do want to get the thumbnail blaster it will save you tons of money and I like it because you can just go in and change it yourself and it it's uh, super simple to do so if you guys want to pick up a copy of the thumbnail blaster I'll leave that in the description below the video if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments below the video if you need to contact me for any reason, I do have my contact information in the description below the video as well. With that being said, this is Karen Mara signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.